Hey everybody, welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Clan Duel Arena, which is a hero assault map. And as you can see here, some new units. Ooh, a droid with a lightsaber. Fucking Ewok. Uh, a random Ami... No, not Amidala. Uh, Leia. Um, let's do the clone one. So guys, before I talk about this map, um, some news, of course, the sad news that... Uh, LucasArts is no more. Uh, I was, of course, in Holland in the last two weeks, so I had, didn't have... Wow, how high can I go? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna chill out here. Um. Okay. So, while I'm uh, flying here in the air, uh, so LucasArts no more. This is the first chance that I got to talk about because I'm back in Japan. And uh, it's a sad thing, and it might indeed uh, be bad for our hopes for a Battlefront 3. Though, of course, if a Battlefront 3 does not come, that means good news for this series. Since people will just have to keep on modding Battlefront 2 to keep it fresh and new. Uh, also, what I wanted to talk about, uh, which is very good news, um, for... Uh, fans of the this uh, Battlefront mod series is I was talking about that in Holland I could actually access the site Filefront and I made great use of that and I downloaded over 90 um, custom maps so you can expect a couple of months to uh, you know be more of this to uh, that the series will continue I realize that some of you cannot access Filefront um, people have asked been asking me about that. I, I, I said in a couple of videos, um, and I, I thought about making maybe a video about it, but then still people would not see that particular video and still ask about it. So I will repeat it once more. And it's the site's um, new policy that for some reason uh, that site is re being rejected in a few countries, um, uh, some of which is uh, Brazil, uh, Japan, some Eastern European countries. And I know it sucks, but it cannot really be helped. Um, but I would also like to thank you guys, because I did a request for you guys to send me <clears throat> a personal request of me doing uh, reviews of certain maps. So if you knew a cool uh, map, uh, then I would take a look at it. And I did. So you can definitely expect if you um, send... Uh, told me about a map that there will be a review of it, but like I said, I have 90 maps and I do have them in order of um, uh, number of downloads, so it might take a while, even up to a few weeks, before I may uh, review the map you sent. So please be patient with that, uh, but your map will definitely um, be mentioned. Anyway, um. Let's go and kick ass. So, as you can see, it is a clan uh, duel, or duel arena, but what you immediately see is that it's not only one arena, though with AI, that is mostly where it happens. There are three style arenas. This is kind of the Yavin 4 uh, arena style, which is kind of like Aztec. Um, this is more traditional in terms of, it feels more like a gladiator duel, though it's not round, of course, that one is round, but that is more, I think what they use for that is the stock building for the Tatooine spaceport, which it indeed is. So, it will not work with AI, since the AI will just do whatever it wants, but if you want duels, you can uh, play this with friends and set up your own rules of, for example, first have a match uh, in the round arena, then the middle arena, and then in the uh, Aztec arena, or Yavin 4, or whatever the fuck. Uh, you can also do, for example, if you have a large crowd, um, to have simultaneously duels, like one against one, uh, all at the same time, and then the winner goes to the next round, stuff like that. You can really play with the own rules here. Um, like I said, a, f a fun thing about it is that there are so many custom units. You can see here that for the, uh, I don't know actually what side the others are, but they are using the Old Republic units. Uh, what It can be a little bit difficult to see which unit you are fighting against. I mean, obviously Darth Vader and Darth Maul are against me, but we have Ewoks and there's so much shit going on. 
that it might be a little bit confusing. Nevertheless, if you like lightsaber fights in this game, uh, I think this is a <coughs> very fun battle. And I did the Death Star Emperor's Throne Room once, which was also a very close quarter uh, hero assault map, which basically had the same premise. <coughs> my, <coughs> my apologies. Uh, where everybody would s start at one place in the map, like north, uh, west, south, or east, and then in the middle they would fight. Um, this also has that. Oh, no. See, this is this kind of weird that the droid is on my side, but hey. Beta! Yeah, see, they have the... It's a, yeah, it, it, that, that is my only complaint thus far, but I guess it is also a, a, a um, uh, principle of... Playing this uh, custom map more and then knowing which units are on your side and which not. It's kind of getting used to seeing which units are on which side. But what I thought about Emperor's Throne Room was that it was way too small. <clears throat> you would go in and you would immediately die. Here, you have a bit more of a chance, though it is still very chaotic. So uh, I think this is a map that will fully. Um, be appreciated if you played with other players. Uh, as you can see, they are not making any use of the outer uh, outer arenas. Though I do realize that the main attraction is this middle one. This is the most traditional one and and the coolest, bl uh, blatantly. But it's yeah, it's like I said, it's difficult to see. I mean, they have Grievous, they have Darth Maul, they have Vader, they have that dude with the yellow sword, which is, I think, the Anakin skin. This is kind of cool, I like this one. Stormtrooper. Oh, yeah. But you basically have way more room to move here. Um, oof. Which makes it way better to fight because, as you can see, I would have died by now if I if this was the Emperor's Throne Room map. But here you actually do stand a bit of a chance. Oh yeah, pushing you, bitch! <clears throat> and also thing. I keep comparing it with the Emperor's Throne Room, I realize that, but, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I don't know what the fuck is going on with my fucking throat. Uh, this is kind of weird, though, that you do have a gun unit, which does not have sound. Which, in all honesty, I think, wow, it's, it's also very weak. I think it would have been best to leave this unit out. It really does not add anything. The grenades will be kind of annoying for the hero units. As you can see, the damage does not hold up, so kind of a waste. Though they are all coming after me, which is kind of weird. But I do know that hero assault maps are actually quite popular. I'm actually going to commit suicide. Fuck it. So in terms of that, if you like it, this is definitely a recommendation. You can also play it uh, in the um, like a Civil War era. Not too sure if there will be custom units there, but seeing as this, I would expect so. Um, and the units are uh, reason enough to give it a try. Like I said, um, the Emperor's Throne Room does not have custom units, so uh, I got actually a request to do the, the Emperor's Throne Room, so it's a pretty popular map, but this one is, in my opinion, way better. Also, because you can do some vi uh, variation with the three... Uh, oh, oh, Rancors! Hey... Um... Oh! I'm being eaten. So that could be kind of cool. That could be like a like a hassle, like a fight. Though it, it, the problem with the left one, 
and you can already see that at the spawn point, is that it is way too small. They, they could have done it better, especially with three Rancors, that's a bit overkill. If you would have one Rancor in the arena, that would kind of be like a handicap. Uh, it would be almost like you fight in an arena with a, with a Sarlacc pit in the middle, where you have to keep your wits on your opponents, but also on the Rancor or the Sarlacc pit at all times. This, however, is a lot bigger. Whoa, what? So, okay, we begin here. Wait, where the hell am I? Oh! Oh god, I'm gonna... <coughs> my bad. <coughs> oh, shit! Wow, okay. So you can even have... Uh, I wouldn't say, like, a large skill battle... No, it is. It, 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 it is basically like a flat area. And you have each two spider... Or big spider droids, spider walkers, and... Um, you can support with normal infantry. That could actually be pretty cool. Like, there's a lot of um, variation. And I would say, I, I had um, multiple arena maps already. Like I said, Yavin 4 arena. Uh, I had... Some other dueling arena, which was like it, like it was an acid. The, the the creator of the map used all these different colors, um, like, like he had used LSD or something, which was kind of bad. Also because the AI uh, did not work properly at all. And uh, here it actually uh, looks pretty, lo looks good. It looks well made, and the number of variation is great, and and well done. I mean, in the um, other dueling arena, the only difference was the shape, which I guess is kind of important, but here you really have variation in, do you want a large-scale battle, kind of like a duel? Uh, you can even do a duel here with only the spider walkers, so two on two, see which uh, team of spider walkers lasts, long, uh, lasts the longest. Now, the last thing I want to check, I'm not going to do this fully, but we still need fucking 80 points. Uh, I think you guys got the point across, but the last thing I'm going to check is if there is another type of dual thing over here. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, what? Oh, so this is... Okay, 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 hold on. So this is the arena without the Rancors. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I found it weird that the, that there were rancors. I was like, "What? Did they spawn all of a sudden?" And if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you go, you go over there. I mean, you could, you could do some some really cool stuff actually. Also, actually, even for YouTube, like get a group of people together, get a group of friends together, and have all these. Oh shit! Whoa, is that? Was that the guy from uh, the uh, Knights of the Old Republic? So yeah, the, but the only thing here with this one is uh, I think the arena is too small for three Rancors. It is a great idea to have an arena with a, a third party hassle in it. It's a, it's a great idea. Like I said, the, the Sarlacc pit would also be great. But yeah, no, this is it's one 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 would still be okay. Have it in the middle, have it inside, fight, maybe try and uh, push the team towards it, and you would have a have a great battle. But all right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, in terms of Hero Assault, this is definitely, definitely one of the better ones. Though I do recommend playing it with uh, other friends. Uh, I would, I would actually say that, for example, the uh, Emperor's Throne Room is actually, um, well, it, it is more well playable with AI. Uh, also, because that has actually a a working uh, dual game where only you and like. Uh, Darth Vader battle each other, um, but nevertheless, this is still fun to experience with AI uh, if you only care about like the middle um, arena and just want to try out the new units, kind of like to practice to see what units are on what side before uh, going in for the real deal. Nevertheless, 
As always, download link will be in the description, and I will see you guys next time.